Hey, I'm Jack Guru here with hot new game, Weird. Uh, SNK Gals Fighters for the Neo Geo Pocket. Of course, it's also on the Switch. It's so weird that they've got a uh, dream match line participants only the five minutes women combatants. SNK Talisman the Grands Anyway. Oh, nice. So, what was the first game? be like, the winner of this tournament gets a thing that grants any wish they want. I would be very interested to find this out. It's so weird that my giant screen television is a virtual Neo Geo pocket. I mean, um, I understand it if it was on my, uh, on my Switch, but put on the hub and put on my TV. This is just strange. Don't I know it, Zell? Although I wasn't really planning on playing the game tonight. Item? What could items be for? I would like to try how to play as Yuri versus, sure, Leona. Was Leona the one from the uh, Ikari Warriors? Start action stand, attack guard off, sure. Oh, this is so weird. Now, how many buttons do I have? Two. So I got a punch, I got a kick. Oh, so I'm right. That is a uh, the lady from. Oh, check it out! I got a dive roll if I hit both at once. Oh, if I press. Hmm. I know there must be special moves. I just haven't found any yet. I do like that there's a dive roll. There. All right, so let's go for this. Exit. Let's actually try the game. Game options. Time, level three. Do, 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 do. One round, speed one. A kick. All right, perfect. All right, Queen of Fighters mode. Oh, I get it. Queen of Fighters, like King of Fighters. But anyway, it's obvious what's happening. What are these extra characters? Or is that random select? No, those are characters I have to unlock. Uh, I am comfortable with uh, Yuri from King of Fighters games. Item. Don't use. Well, I don't have it, so... Damn! That's very hostile, Shiki. Is she from the game or is she original? Wow. The music is so tinny. Like, it's so accurate. I'm kind of blown away. You okay? Yeah. We heard a crash from the other room, but we're not going to worry about it or make a big deal. Whoa! Nice escape, lady. An empty bottle. Dive roll! Oh, didn't work at all. Oh, I wonder if there are throws. Probably, right? She's so happy! Way to go, Yuri Sakazaki! Gal's fighter! So there's King of Fighter, okay. which is the game that all of the SNK fighting characters and a bunch from their other games take part in, uh -huh. right? And so then for the Neo Geo Pocket, they're like, what if there was the, that same thing, but only the ladies? See? Not so strange now, is it? She's giving me a look that says that 100% this is very strange and I should feel judged for playing the game. But the thing that's most amazing is, as you can see, there's a virtual uh, Neo Geo Pocket on screen. So we're playing it as if there's a Game Boy taking up the whole screen. Yeah. But we only see the Game Boy. Yeah. I see, I definitely threw her that time. I don't know how, but I did it. Maybe it only works as a counter? And I wonder if, and I'm pretty sure, I haven't tested this yet, but I'm pretty sure that if you grab the uh, Switch, and hold it in your hands, you could use those uh, touchscreen buttons to pretend you were playing on Neo Geo Pocket. I don't know why you would, but I feel like you could. Um, I actually am going to say no, you can't. Okay. There are other Switch games that I already have that emulate... Controllers on screen. Con 
controllers on screen, and they don't. Oh, it's weird. just there for the look, which is weird. And I might be wrong. Maybe they changed that. Well, it depends on the game, I'm sure. Yeah. Because this is brand new. I have played some other ones that have that weird frame to be like, this is like the old uh, Game Boy yeah. controller, and it has that frame around it. I'm like, oh, can you just touch that? No. Oh. So. This one looks so good. You'd think they would have to. But I could be wrong. Wait, that's, is that Nakaruru? Is she from, I feel like she's from Samurai Showdown, which makes me be like, isn't it unfair for her to bring a sword to this fight? And an eagle? Oh, thank God. I don't know what uh, that means, Pedro. Number power? What did I don't say? Lighten up, I'm a pro. You had to lose. No. Uh oh. I have no idea what Shermie is from, but she seems to see some sort of a uh, busy lady. Oh, which blast blue? See, I understand having multiple rounds out of three or five if you're playing against another human being. You guys want to have fun, but. I never understand there being more than one round in a story mode of a fighting game. Like, I'm not in an arcade. You don't need to stretch out my money. I just want to fight different people and see the story. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I don't do many perfect rounds in fighting games. Basically just Mortal Kombat's. Where I'm okay at Scorpion. Not great, but okay. No, Klutz is spelled with a K, not a C. Not everyone knows that. Yuri versus Akari. Go. Is she also from Samurai Shodan? Because now we got another sword lady. Oh wait, that might be a staff. Seriously, you can get Street Fighter on your cell phone? Actually, that makes perfect sense to me. How does it work? Like, are there virtual buttons? There's got to be virtual buttons to tap, right? You can't attach a controller to your cell phone. What? See all these special moves everyone but me has access to? I mean, I know I have access to special moves, I just don't know how to do them. But, oh my god. She's a nightmare. There we go. Down goes Fraser. Fraser? Boom. Cheer up, your life doesn't end here. Not. Again, that makes it sound like you're murdering people. So, what's up there? Here comes my Shiranui! The character with whom I'm most familiar. Because of her appearances in Fatal Fury. Uh, video games and movies, of which I've seen both, he said, as if there hadn't been more than two by now. Here's a fun trivia question. Which popular uh, Hollywood film is ripped off of it, uh, has its plot ripped off of a Fatal Fury movie? It was close. Some might say too close. Aww, I did have to lose. I got an item! Hairpin! What does that do? I don't know. Apparently I'm fighting a character named Whip? Like, what's your deal, lady? I mean, you have a whip, but beyond that. Like, is your weapon your entire personality? Ah. I understand that in sword fighting games, but here it's a little strange. She just got to do two attacks in midair? Oh, I thought I could um, sneak behind her. God. 16-bit fighting games are so weird. I'm worried about it, too. The whip, I mean. Aww. Explosive gauge. What does that mean? Miss X, you've done well. Now beat me and it's yours. The Talisman. Your Kyo's friend. That's Kyo Kusanagi. Hmm. 
Who is he? I mean, I guess this is a character from the series, but... Aww. Oh, okay. And we got to the end, and the final lady fighter is a guy in drag. Huh. I can admit I was not expecting that. I don't think anyone could have. Damn. I'd say you can totally tell via the animation, but that might be an exaggeration. Hey, how come King is in this game? Who, of course, was a famous lady fighter who did wear drag. And pretended to be a guy to uh, get a bouncer job. Boom. Way to go, Yuri Sakazaki! Alright, what does she wish for? this talisman. I'll open my own gym. So you can wish for anything, and you're gonna open your own gym, which you could have done anyway. See, Yuri is uh, Ryo's little sister. She gets kidnapped in the plot of uh, Art of Fighting. That's kind of what the whole plot is based around. Oh no! He threw away the talisman! Ryo! Rustling, yeah. It's not dangerous. Oh. Okay. No! This is Gal's, this has been Gal's fighter and it is zany. Totes fine, Horror King. Big flashlight? Now, in case you're wondering, we have a balcony that is, um, a favorite hangout spot for, uh, birds of the Pidgey variety. So she's going to check to make sure there's no Pidgeys. Alright, let's try someone else. I want to find out what the items do, though. Foe's gal gauge increase half. Gotcha. Close to gauge mighty bops power up. Don't know what that means. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do now. Alright, so now uh, I checked online and there is no manual on the e store or anything like that. Oh, hey. So Akari, Shiki. What game is she from? Shermi, Nakaruru. I enjoy Nakaruru. She is a Japanese lady who lives with the Ainu people and defends them from, you know. Imperial Japan. If you don't know who the uh, Ainu people are, they are the native people, they are the native Japanese people who, before Chinese people moved to Japan in uh, what, a thousand, the year 1000 and set up the, and brought their new culture there. I'll bop you in a blink. Okay. And brought their culture there were the uh, uh, inhabitants and they still live there and they are r and they are roughly the equivalent of America's uh, native community uh, although obviously the the boom the lack of a large scale uh, an equally large scale genocide and program of boom cultural extermination didn't happen the same way there so they have a very different uh, relationship with the modern people of Japan. Okay, so I can do a throw, I just don't know how. Oh, thank you. I won't forget you. Ah, what is your... Oh, Nakaruru. Ah, uh, she was a character in... Boom. I don't know you. Akari. Ah, uh, yes, and her stage in the original Samurai Showdown was set in her, uh, uh, her native village. 
I don't know if she's supposed to be an Anu herself or just one who was uh, a Japanese lady who was raised by Anu and uh, serves to uh, protect them from again Imperial Japan. Uh, because ah, she did some kind of super technique and I kicked her out of it, which is amazing. Oh, is something spitting her out onto me? That was very weird. Um, so I don't know a lot about the culture between the Japanese people and the Ainu people, or what her ethnic background is, because I don't know that much about uh, Samurai Shodan's uh, backstory. But I am familiar with that part. Now make like a tree. So cute! Uh, did Lady Guru see your tweet? I don't know, she didn't tell me. From today? Then no. Boom. From a while back, then yes, and it was disturbing, but didn't... Uh, well, it upset me, but not in a bad way. Well, in a bad way, but... How do I do a throw? Let's just say that. Boom. Hey, I'm doing four-hit combos. It's almost like I'm better at this fighting game than any other fighting game I've ever played. Also, it's almost like I've set the difficulty to easy. Whoa! I did a sword dive! Wish I knew how. I'm gonna have to look up the controls to this later. <laughs> I am the law of nature. Are you playing fighting games the way I play fighting games? So just jamming on the buttons. And there's only two buttons to jam on. So it makes it a lot easier. Apparently she's planning to finish me in a flash. Oh, is Shermie French? That's clearly the Arc de Triomphe. Okay, how do I do that sword dive? There we go! Okay, it didn't do the kind of damage I was hoping for. So yeah, I managed to get a, uh... What? Okay, for some reason with her, the various fireball-based attacks are working fine. God, this game is cute. So wonderfully retro. And then that time I did some kind of a strange super move? I should probably focus on winning the fight and not hanging out with a bird. Although hanging out with a burb is pretty awesome, especially when it's a falcon. Uh, everybody, remind me to go finish that falcon uh, falconry VR role-playing game soon. Because that thing was amazing. Just what is going on here? Be sure to like the ones you see in the future. Okay. So he'll know you've seen them. Oh no, my Shiranui. She pretends to be a... Uh, a stereotypical geisha, then BOOM! She switches into her, her ridiculous, I'll say it, nigh-pornographic fighting outfit. Luckily, because of the art style in this, you cannot see anything questionable about the way she's dressed. Actually, you know what? I, I take that back. You totally still can. How is she dressed? Look. She's the one on the right? Yes. Yeah. No judgment. She can dress however she wants, but oof. You're the worst, but I support you. No! Ouch. Oh, wow, that was close. Winner is Nakaru, and thank you for noticing. Aww. Found another hairpin, cool. I'll bop you! And who's that? That's Athena, who's a pop star, but also a martial artist, right? Again, I don't know a ton about these characters. Whoa! That was a badass move. Uh, need to do more of that move. How did I do that? Why is it not doing the long distance one anymore? I threw a... Oh, I threw a uh, bird at her! That's so cute! She is a hunting falcon who she's teamed up with. Neat. It's just as adorable as you want it to be. Neat. I can't make it happen reliably because I don't know how I'm doing this move, but still. Oh, Robocop has been added to Mortal Kombat 11. Cool. But even though I bought the, you know, Ultimate Edition, you don't get that for free, so 
I'll be waiting a long time before we get that extra content, thank you very much. What's the point of buying an Ultimate Edition if there are further paid things in the future? What I'm saying is, uh, Warner Brothers are scummy asses. They're just terrible Crazy people. Today about this stuff. Well, uh, UPS is bad at their job. Warner Brothers is trying to screw us out of money. What, what exactly saying, do we have to be super happy about? You know what? UPS, normally they're not my favorite delivery <laughs> company. Yeah. But they're not my least favorite. And give delivery of workers not. a break right now. DHL is the worst. Yes. Everybody knows that. But like, I'd love to give them a break, but I'm just saying. It's like, check your computers, guys. Or at least send me a... T I mean, if they had sent me a text apologizing for the mix-up, that'd be fine. But to act like we're at fault, that's the problem. I don't think they're acting like you're at fault. They specifically said that we have to, uh, that if we want it delivered, we have to go online to pay yeah. when that's already happened. I know, but it's an automatic message they just do. They weren't expecting you to try and automatically pay for it. We've gotten those calls in the past. I just take them and don't tell you about them. And that's fine. Just, just chill. There's nothing not chill Be about nice me. To delivery workers. I'm always nice to delivery workers. I'm complaining about a delivery company. Alright. It's not the worker's fault. Think I blame the worker for the computer system being bad? Oh no! <laughs> Thank you, Lenny. Thank you, someone's mentioning it. What? That it's kind of cheating that she brought a sword to a fighting tournament. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah, the virtual system is such a cool look. See, now I'm doing that version of the move. Oh wait, does it change based on what distance I am away? Wait, I would have to know how to do it to be able to test that. No, 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 she's doing just straight up again. Maybe if I hold down the button and ow instead of... Nope. If only I could figure out how to do that super move I managed to do once. Who is this Yagami character? What, ca what game is he from? Should I recognize these techniques? He's a buddy of Kyo Kusanagi's, but what does that mean? Ow! Oh wait, Yagami, isn't he the the guy with the ridiculous jeans and white shirt and belt wallet chain? Who has like purple energy powers? Why is he dressing up like a lady and running a tournament? Only for women. It's kind of strange. Nesku say pop? You are the law of nature. Thank you for saying so. Oh, the talisman's talking to her. Wait, if you thought it was just a trinket, why were you fighting in the tournament? Okay. She's from a later uh, Samurai Showdown game. I gotta say, you did not wish for important enough things. Apparently Whip Lady is from Ikari Warriors. Because those were the Ikari Warriors with her. There's Athena, I want to say? Hey, Zelda64 fan. Zelda was great on the 64. I don't care if you're talking about Ocarina Time or Mask of Majora. It was fantastic. I prefer Ocarina Time. Okay, they're best friends in the Samurai Showdown world. 
Yeah, so there's the lady from Ikari Warriors whose name I can never remember. <laughs> Damn right, all SNK staff. Yeah, no, I remember that character. I've played as him in um, King of Fighters. Huh. Weird. He's the Playtime's Over guy. Anyway, so this has been Gal's... Uh, Gal's Fighters T SNK's Gal's Fighters, and it's unbelievably cute. Um, I kind of wish there was a mode to tell you how to play the game, what the very special the techniques were. I know we live in the present day, so everyone could just go to the internet and find out amazing instantly, but come on, guys. Help us out a little. Come on. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots go in the comment section below the video. We'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say au revoir.